ay 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 Alright, it's not very common in life that you get to learn from the mistakes of somebody that isn't you, okay? And I want all of you to learn from my mistakes, alright? I made the mistakes of trusting the wrong people, okay? I made the mistakes of taking my eye off the ball for a second, okay? And I don't want that to happen to you, okay? So, what I put together here, alright, are the three different types of scrubs that are the most dangerous to your crew when you're on the top, uh, as well as the four ways you gotta deal with those scrubs. Uh, I call them mega scrubs because they're even scarier than regular scrubs as far as, you know, scrub-like activities go, alright? And there's these these four things you can do to keep these mega scrubs out of your life. So let's start with the types of scrubs. Long live the king. So the first and biggest thing you got to look out for out there, alright, is traitors, okay? And they're really, you know, insidious and, like, sinister and stuff because, like, you never know which one of your friends is going to betray you, alright? So you really got to look at your friends and their motives and the people around you's motives, okay? Like, are they pumping themselves, you know, full of brain steroids, alright, and trying to convince themselves that they can move objects with their minds, okay? Are they sneaking off? with a bunch of money, you know, to try and get their money hidden away in the Bahamas whenever you guys fly out there anyway to party? Uh, do they always carry a briefcase that's got like $100,000 in cash in it and a handgun and they, they keep it handcuffed to themselves? You know, it's just basic tells like that that you can look for, all right? It's kind of subtle sometimes, but... If you find those tells, you know, you might you might be able to spot the traitor before they try and betray you and take everything from you and leave you with no money or cheap Mexican beer or booth babes. I don't understand you. Are you a cop? Alright, so another big, big problem in your crew is going to be snitches, okay? Who in your crew is going to crack when the cops show up, alright? You got to start asking that question, alright? You got to start, like, getting your crew members involved in petty larceny so that you can blackmail them in case the authorities try to gain leverage over them, alright? Because, so, you know, if you don't know who, who the rats are, alright, they might rat you out, you know, to Interpol to get off with no jail time, or, or they might rat you out to their mom because you broke your greenhouse wall with a firecracker trying to show my homie Carl how to light firecrackers with a cut fuse so they blow up real quick, all right? So, you know, don't be afraid to call them out. Just look them in the eye and call them out and ask, hey, man, are you a snitch? Because, you know, they got to tell you if they're a cop. Pulse Mobile says you ought to prepay minutes, yo. Another big threat that you might not think of, all right, you, you don't really think about it until you get used to it, is posers, okay? Posers are all over the place and they're more dangerous than snitches and traitors sometimes because they come from outside the crew, alright? But you think they're inside the crew. And sometimes they make videos on the crew and sometimes they ask you to change your name to just crew, okay? And what's with all this obsession about crews, okay? It's because they don't have a crew, okay? They're haters, alright? Most posers are just gonna try and hate on you because they don't have what you have, all right? So you just gotta, you just gotta brush them off, and if they get all up in your face, you show them what's what with a series of 10-minute videos. I know that seems like a lot, all right? Because it fucking is, okay? But there's four easy ways that you can keep these mega scrubs out of your shit, all right? So you always got to be real, okay? You've got to be the most real that you can be, all right? Because if you start faking, that's when the actual fakers are going to get a foothold, okay? Do real shit, okay? Drink in public, all right? Pretty much constantly, all right? If you suck at dancing, then dance anyway, all right? It's your hip-hop crew's job to do dancing for you, okay? If you want to dance, you don't have to be good. No one's going to beat your ass with a flip-flop, all right? If you see scrubs, all right, no matter what they're doing, if they're scrubbing it up, you got to call them on that. You got to call them out, all right? It's about confidence and having no fear. 
now the confidence is there so that you just know you can do it, okay? Those are the two things you need, confidence and no fear. And the confidence is there so that even if you don't know what's going on or where you are or who the people around you are or how the hell to get home or, you know, why you even came here in the first place, all right? You don't care. You don't care about that. You just walk in and you get it done, okay? Because you know you can. All right, and the second thing that you need is no fear, all right? No fear whatsoever. It, it, that's hard. That's hard. But, like, you know, you can get there. Like, when uh, that Russian Esports Federation thing blew over, I had to nut up and go visit a Russian oligarch. And they didn't see me sweat at all, even though that whole mansion looked like Andy Warhol setting up a David Lynch-themed orgy. God, it's like looking at a glossy plastic homunculus. Jesus Christ. Right now, I need to see a fucking doctor. Fuck yourself. Next one is pretty easy, all right, and it's just this. Never sleep, okay? Don't ever sleep. And this one is pretty easy because they have this invention in the modern days, all right, it's called Monster Energy Drink, all right? Your eyes start drooping, chug a monster, all right? You yawn, chug a monster. You feel a little tuckered out, chug a monster. You lie down on the couch and it starts feeling really comfortable, like way too comfortable, and you're just slowly kind of drifting off, and your memories are kind of fading, and in and out, and you're kind of half remembering a warm and safe place you used to be when you were a child, but, but the memory's just just gone. It's just burnt out after years and years of drinking and DXM abuse from Robitussin. You know, chug a monster, all right? You know, it'll, it'll keep you up, all right? If you never stop gaming, you're always in that heightened MLG state of mind, okay? And threats can't sneak up on you, all right? For instance, right now, I've been up for like four, maybe five days, and those spiders can't do shit to me, because I always see them coming, all right? If you need more than four hours of sleep a week, okay, just up your game and chug a monster. So, kids, don't play with too many knives. Come on, come on. So, another thing, and this is a big thing, all right, you're going to want to have some radical knives. Now, any of these knives will work if you can find knives that look kind of like these, you know, uh, you just want to make sure that they're rad as fuck, okay? You want to make sure that everybody in your crew has at least two rad ass knives, alright? One to like throw and one to like carry around with them, alright? Because, you know, if you have a knife, it makes you faster, the knife kills in like one hit, Everybody knows that, okay? So you want to have as many badass knives as possible. And leave them around your house at various inter intervals, you know, just so that you have quick access to one for whatever reason. This is my time to shine bright like a diamond. Last thing you gotta do is check the pose you're speaking of which, let's go see what Gaming LXG is up to. Oh, big surprise, he hasn't responded to me yet. Yep, I figured I probably hit a little bit too close to home with that whole British Crown thing, and MI6 probably recalled his ass to tell him, like, hey man, this guy's getting too close. So anyway, um, we'll have to, you know, poke the bear a little bit and make sure that this poser knows that we're still out here and that this war is still on, alright? Uh, sorry about the music. It's Ogre's music. It has been for all three of these episodes. Uh, he said, 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 find more royalty-free music to put on the channel so I can have, you know, music behind when I talk, you know? Because, you know, I can do it too. I'm a, a, you poser, um, it, but until then, uh, I'm sorry about the crappy music, alright, it'll just be on, like, one part of the channel that, you know, nobody has to listen to, uh, but, alright, uh, yeah, I, I guess I gotta go, uh, whip up something for Gaming LXG's ass. Hi ho! Kermit the Frog here today to stab them with an asbestos-covered knife and take out their kneecaps.